Grave Digger Billy, at least my Xbox Gamer Tag says that. Here I am showing you my incredible shifting library maze. Uh, this is a solo build I've been working on in creative as you can see. Um, it is a big redstone project and I'm trying to create a adventure map castle out of it. Um, so basically I put the centerpiece in and I'm setting the table around it. Um, I'm going to give another quick flyby here just to uh, let you guys have another peek and I wasn't sure how to start my video. So I'll just show the whole thing. Um, a lot of the interiors here are finished. There's some buildings, or unfinished buildings, and uh, unfinished wall, a lot of unfinished bits. I uh, will be looking for some help to finish it off. If uh, anybody watching would like, I'll leave my, uh, well actually I said it's grave diggability. So, let's get started. In here we have the uh, the guardhouse, and this uh, doesn't look like there's any way through. A corridor here with no visible passage. Some lava. Another corridor passage, and we also have these pressure plates with the chicken or chicken oracle what it does is it uh, doesn't like me it will uh, <laughs> shoot fiery arrows at you it will continue to shoot them or it will jump to the other side and open up some doors but it wants to kill me today. at least it would if it was on survival Come on. Alright, so eventually here we'll go over to the other side. I think that was it. Yeah, it's let me clean up these arrows because it's still standing on the pressure plate which activates the arrows. So it might lay in, but it's still gonna kill you. Uh, here is the upper portion above as you can hear the uh, arrows are still going. <laughs> so I'll take you down here to the actual library maze and show you what's going on. I have, uh, right now it is all opened to show. <laughs> it uh, is 25 2 by 2 by 2 rooms. The uh, wooden areas you see towards the bottom and top are bookshelves and they will come up or down. Uh, there's three exits. Tr I'm trying to have it so you have to go through one, then the other, then the back. Go through here. So let's fire it up and I'll show you what happens. First the bottom is going to come up, just to kind of show. There's the top down, back open, and now it's going to start shifting randomly. It is random at this point because I don't want to program the mechanism that uh, is running it. Uh, it would take too long and it's just more fun this way. And as you can see, I've made it nowhere. I'm still at the beginning. Um, <laughs> there's a lot going on here, and a lot of times it will lag out my Xbox. Uh, there's a lot of moving pistons, as you can see. <laughs> We're going to turn pitch black and you can't see anything. All firing, ra ra all firing randomly. So it takes a lot out of the Xbox. So let's get out of here. Or not. Thing doesn't want to let me out. Alright, there we go. 
Uh, here I have a bridge that doesn't stay open long enough, so it drops you in the cactuses. I wanted to use that, uh, get that to stay open by hitting switches from the two exits before you're coming out the back. And down here I will show you what runs this thing. If you know anything about redstone, you might understand this, or you will, and if you don't, well, you're not going to understand it. <laughs> but either way, here it is. It's a uh, memory, uh, piston memory array. It um, holds a bit of memory. It looks like it's 8, 16, 16 times 8, which is a lot. Decent with math, but not that good to figure it out in my head that fast. Anyway, so, um, this, uh, fires off eight separate signals at once. Um, they can either be on or off. Um, there's one on. You can have them all off, all on. Um, there's two on, three on, four on, however many on. Uh, firing multiple signals at once. It's a very neat contraption, and um, getting all the pistons to get the power was the tricky part, and showing it to you seems even trickier. So um, up here you can see there's groups of pistons, there's redstone dust, there's repeaters, and they're running everywhere. All grouped up, they fire separately, together, as I was saying, there's eight groups. And it does a lot of work at one time. So, that's about it. Let me take you up top and show you that portion. Because what you saw there only runs the bottom. There's another one up top here. As you can see. It's basically doing the same thing. Basically, it is doing the same thing. Um, one nice thing is I have these two, the top and bottom, set at different speeds. Um, so it makes the maze even more random than having them run at the exact same speed. So, um, let's, let me take you down to the bottom show you that portion here. Anytime now. <laughs> um, right. So, anyway, here we are. <laughs> the bottom portion um, was a lot easier to, um, to wire just because of the way pistons accept power, so a lot more open space, not so tight and hard to see what's going on. So that's about it. Like I was saying earlier, uh, I am looking for a few people to help me out with the rest of this, so uh, look me up on Xbox, Grave Digger Billy. And uh, you can also check us out on YouTube at Absent Minded Gamers. Uh, please like the video, comment, and subscribe. We will be putting out a lot more videos. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks.